Virgo, you have water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's take a look and see what's going on with the water sign. Now you could have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in your chart. You could also have a connection to a water sign. So let's take a look. All right. Oh, so there's a water sign who's extremely anxious, having anxiety, nightmares, conflict, mental conflict. It's affecting their heart, their ability to speak and their ability to think. Um, this person might have um, like a mental struggle that affects their ability to speak um, maybe um, affects their ability to have compassion or be empathetic or to think clearly okay oh here's the five of pentacles here again okay hmm so this water sign it looks like no matter how hard things get they um will follow you anywhere even through 10 feet of snow on crutches out in the cold this person is like a puppy okay they're like a follower let me see Oh, there you go. I feel like this might be a continuation here. Oh, my gosh. They just said this person is, they're stressing about the fact that you might be thinking about um, abandoning them or leaving them. Are they, They're aware they give you some kind of struggle or problem. I do feel like they are trying to take a look at that here. Okay, I'm trying to see like, can, it's, it's more like, are they able to make a change? What can they do about this? Can they make a change? Does, do they even, are they even aware of what, see, I feel like they're, me, whatever's going on up in the mental, like the brain, has an effect on their ability to communicate clearly, to be direct, and to communicate from the heart. Because if you see those three swords right there going through the head, the crown chakra, right through the throat, and right through the chest, through the heart area, okay? And all the rest are just all of their anxieties up above. This person's like really trapped. Um, tell Virgo more what's going on with this water sign. Could be you too. You could be having this issue as well, Virgo. As well, like I said, you could be trying to figure out what you're going to do here. You might be stressing about the fact that you need to make a decision. You're contemplating whether the struggle is worth it. And it could be giving you some anxiety. Oh, wow. Huh. I just heard... There might be a communication or a conversation that you have with a Queen of Swords who will tell you, you know, there's medication for that. Whatever you're going through, whatever this person's going through, whether it's holistic or um, commercial. Is that the word I'm trying to find? The opposite of holistic, you know, medicinal, whichever, pharmaceutical. Um, you're definitely, I feel like you're going to be able to have some communication and or this person is going to have some communication with someone to give it to them straight somebody's going to tell them straight or you you might they might ask you and you might give it to them straight like how can i help you you know um i don't know if there's if this person they might have like depression and anxiety um they might have other things going on like i'm not a doctor but the first thing i could think of anything that has an effect they might be like neuro um di diverse they could have stuff like that going on. Um, they could have like anger issues and stuff like that that they need help with. Um, whether that's like an opportunity to go speak with someone um, or, or you. 
right? But you know, and that's only, and that's not for just straight up Virgos. That's for a Virgo that has heavy water in their in their chart. Okay, if you don't, and you're like predominantly fire and air, then I'm not talking to you here. Okay, I'm talking about a water sign. So. I feel like for the most part though, Virgo, um, this person, either you're going to say something or have a communication with them, or they're going to talk to somebody about how to get some help. I just heard how to get some help to be more um, empathetic and giving towards you. Uh, because maybe they were cold and they weren't, you know, acting that way. Um, not by dis not by choice, but because of um, a lack of capability to do something like that. Okay, so I mean, freaking psychological read, man. What's going on here? Let me see. All right, so the King of Wands is here. <sighs> wow. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh, two of cups. Okay. So there's someone in their life, the fire sign, also, who, um, There's a male and a, a masculine and a feminine in their life that maybe they're friends with. Um, that's going to, it feels like give them this good advice. Uh, some kind of good advice about a relationship that they have with you. Oh, and there's even an empress here. Yeah, I feel like Virgo, um, this person is going to be like seeking some kind of advice because they're kind of on the the end here where they, I'm getting this message. They're saying that they feel like they have to fix something or if they don't, then like the Ten of Swords is going to be the next card to fall out and it's going to be done. It's going to, something's, oh my God, right when I said that, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, they know that this is, this is, it, this kind of feels to me like same, a little bit like same as the last, the reading that I just recently did. So, um, this person knows, they're aware that this is it. This is like the end here. It's coming close to the end. Wow, Virgo. I mean, I don't think you, I feel like we were talking about you in the previous reading there with um the caution because i really feel like you needed to really get some more information and figure out uh, you're on the brink here of either calling it quits or making a decision to never return um as well as whether or not you should stay like you're kind of like all right i need to figure out what's going on here and there, uh, I feel like this person is aware of it. Um, so either they're aware of it or that you make them aware in like this time period, January through February. They have some conversations with some people about you, maybe even with a mother figure or discussing about you, how they see you. Virgo obviously sees themselves as just the queen of pentacles, but they, this person sees you as like an empress. They see you as like home to them. Okay. Like when they're with you, um, maybe you're their mother. Maybe this is about, um, you know, a child you have. But when they're with you, they feel the most comforted. They feel at home. Because you are reliant, of course, and stable. And you can take care of yourself. I don't know if this person is capable of taking care of themselves very well. They might have that inability to, they might have help taking care of them. You know, just the daily tasks. Or, um, you know, even like cooking for themselves. or to, You know what I mean? They might have somebody else helping them. Um, 
this is crazy. This this message is just it feels very specific. So I won't get offended if some of you are like, no, I, this is not for me. Um, I don't feel like this person is an a hole. <laughs> I don't. I, I feel like they, maybe they have like uh, mind blindness or an inability to connect in some way. Yeah, look at that. Four of Pentacles, right when I said that. This person has a lot of blocks. A lot of blockages. Head, heart, even their feet, uh, inability to move. They struggle. I mean, even still, Virgo, I mean, like, everybody has something, right? So, you know, whatever this person has or whatever's going on with them, you know, if they are going to try to find ways to make accommodations to try to make your partnership be better, that's great. Um, but if they're not, you, you know, have to do what's best for you at the end of the day you know um, i mean it's really up to you what are you willing to what are you willing to do are you willing to stay and help them love you or are you willing to stay and because you love them so much like like it's up to you what do you want to do you know because i do feel like this is kind of like the second portion here because i see you Virgo, as just on your own, being single, no attachments. Yeah, no attachments. So you're you're good. You're good either way. Um, but I think like there's a lot. <laughs> what the heck's going on for you, Virgo? Just wants to be happy. Virgo's like, I just want to be happy. That's just not too much to ask. I just want to stay happy. It's not even be happy. I just want to stay happy and joyous and enjoy my life and have fun and you know do the things that i like to do and be have that playful energy and i want i feel like you're kind of like you know that's leo energy i you know it's vibrant and i feel like you might have some a vibrancy about you and you do best perhaps in warm climate um you you focus on that beach scene <laughs> you know um or being by the water or um some loving had me up last let me see yeah virgo just wants to be happy and stay happy okay you've got pisces september 8th you have aries here I'm also hearing August 28th, you have Cancer, let me see what, oh, you have A again, and this said November, and then when I touched it, it flipped to February, so there could be someone that you have a connection with whose birthday is in November or February, um, September 18th, someone was born in 1988, let me see, okay, you have the letter Z, Okay, somebody might have an alcohol problem is going to AA. Um, someone is age 30, and I'm also picking up August 30th. And then the letter M. Someone's name might be... Um, I, I, it's, I don't know if it's a name or a nickname, Maz or Mazzy or Mazza. Um, there's also Z, like the Z for... Um, someone's first name Zachariah Zelda someone uh, there's a connection to Zimbabwe as well there's strength I don't know why I pulled that other card but strong Leo energy here which is all about the confidence and let me just get you a charm okay so you have Oh, you have an eagle. All right, this could have, this is an American symbol, 
So that could be connected to America. Could also be connected to Eagles football. So you know when I call it these charms, this just gives more of a significator that this reading may be resonating or might be more for you specifically. Um, but the eagle pretty much is a bird that is very versatile um, and is very capable of getting what it is that it wants. You know, it's very strong grip. Some of you might need to let your grip go a little some of you might need to um, strengthen your grip but the eagle soars very high high above the rest and they're just telling me now that whoever this water sign is they view you as someone who is way higher above the rest you are almost practically out of this world to them i don't know how high an eagle can fly but um I mean, you're not like an alien or a spaceship, <laughs> but you're definitely someone that they view as like way above them, like in terms of like who you are and um, just they're amazed, just like an amazing eagle. Somebody else might be bald. Somebody might have no hair. All right, so let's move on to the next message. You're going to have, they'll be back. I'll be next. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.